Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today's video is going to be a Collective Michaels scrapbook paper pad haul. Um, I have been collecting these for a couple months now and I have enough to actually make a whole video just on the scrapbook paper pads. Um, these were all hot buys. So if you know, Michaels does have a thing where if you buy one, you get two free. They have like sticker books, washi tape, like sets, and they're $19.99 each, which for, you know, that's a great deal. 20 bucks for three things. Now I don't know if they still have it um, because I know they were doing like a rebranding with the packaging and stuff. And I bought a couple of stickers um, the last time that I did uh, go with, just because it had old packaging and um, they were just pretty much moving everything around. That will be in another video just because I don't want to make this one too long. But this is all about the scrapbook paper pads. Um, but anyway, if you know if they're getting rid of the hot buys, please let me know in the comments if you have any information on that because I'm going to be very sad if they do get rid of it because that's where I get all my paper pads from for the most part because you know how they can be very expensive. They can go for like $30, $40, um, $20 minimum for just one and you just get that's it you know that's all <laughs> anyway this isn't just too long if you're new here welcome to the channel if you love cute things if you love stationery consider subscribing and let's get started okay so jumping right into it the first paper pad that i have is called key west um with all of these you get 24 designs they're 12 by 12 inches um and they're acid free which is great and they're all by recollections um so this one is obviously very tropical there's a lot of like bright yellows greens pinks blues and it kind of has like a watercolor vibe and i love anything tropical so this is great for like summer so many things um so anyway so opening it up we have this first print which is like an all over like little tropical print there's like flowers and like palm leaves and stuff and it's just really pretty this paper is like pretty good quality too then we have one of these which i love because you could even like frame these alone if you wanted to so just live in the sunshine swim in the sea with the gold foiling and the floral um border then some of these like journaling cards i'm obsessed with these because i always cut them up and i have little pouches that i got from like daiso and i store them in there and i use them whenever i journal or i send them as extras in pen pal letters or in stationary swaps I love all the fruit that they chose. There's there's a lot of like pomegranates and star fruit in here. And um, it's not just like pineapples, which is what you typically think of when you think of like anything like tropical. And then this one, I love all the birds. I think this is so cute with all the pinks and yellows. Very nice. Um, and then this one has gold foiling as well. It's kind of like a tile print. It reminds me of like tile you would see in a house in Florida or I mean I guess that's why it's like what Key West I don't know um it's very bright and inviting and I really like it this would be a cool like backsplash in the kitchen too um and then next up is this beautiful turtle that is made out of like palm leaves and like tropical flowers and this is gorgeous you can even frame this alone as well then we have some like blue foliage just like different shades of blue and then this one I'm obsessed with. We have a ton of star fruit. Again, we don't really see anything with star fruit. It's always like pineapples and watermelon slices, which I don't have a problem with. I think those are super cute, but I feel like we need more of this stuff. I think it's really adorable. And then I also got these here, which are kind of like more like paper strips. I feel like every paper pad comes with something like this. And I cut them up into strips and then cut them in half and use those in journaling and stuff. But it says Key West. We've got the little bird print. There's gold foiling flowers all that stuff and then we have this like blue one which kind of looks like sort of like fish scales and then this little like polka dot there's like flowers too i don't know it's nice green and blue and this is another one of my favorites in this particular paper pad is all this dragon fruit like how beautiful is this with the green background and some are sliced i'm obsessed and some more foliage this is just like green of course, if you're actually into scrapbooking, I don't really scrapbook very often. Um, I really need to get back into it. I probably do one maybe like every couple of months. Um, but you can use this for pocket letters and stuff like that as well. And this other tropical print. It's pretty. And then I think this one is like a guavas, right? These are guavas. They're not pears. Yeah, because it's like pink. Beautiful. Again, we don't see this very often, so I'm obsessed with it. And then we have more like little journaling cards or like little ephemera pieces. You can cut them up, put them in little frames, hang them up, make a collage. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these. I love them so much. I love that we get the little turtle here too. And then the next one is just this little like 
dotted print with the pink and orange. There's like tiny little like Hawaiian flowers in there. Then we have these little palm trees with like a uh, orange background and then this like orange striped one. So you do get like some more simple ones, which is nice. And then this one here, you could put a really big photo here or you could, if you're into brush lettering, you could write something out, frame it, give it as a gift. It's really pretty. And then we got the same tile print, except it's like an orange. The other one's definitely my favorite. This one's pretty too, but. Then some more wine flowers and palm trees and stuff. And then we've got this like little pink striped set. And then this one with all the birds, the different parrots and stuff. But yeah, that is the Key West um, paper pad. Really pretty. All right, next up is this summer road trip one. And this one has a lot of browns, greens, a little bit of blues. Um, definitely great if you're going on a road trip and you're into scrapbooking. So, so, so pretty. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this one. Oh no, oh my God, it ripped. It's okay. So we have this like grid print one here. It's more simple. And then there's this one here, which has like different like maps and stuff has like sunglasses and like keys and like luggages very pretty then we have some like journaling cards with gold foiling I feel like all of them have like gold foiling somehow pretty much anywhere I don't know but yeah look at this notes with a little like um, beetle bug there then we've got this with oh, I love that they did a brown background this is so pretty I'm obsessed with this yeah I really like this color and then we have this map here. Again, you could frame this if you wanted to. You could do so much. And then there is this one with the little wells and all the sailboats. This one with very log cabin vibes, like with the, the trees and the moose. And then here's another one. You could put a photo here, whatever. It has this really nice like frame. It's like a wood grain kind of like print. And then the little camper <laughs> that's cute with the cacti and these have like different like retro signs retro cafe retro hotel really cool and then we've got some paper strips i'm obsessed with i would love to see like washi tape like this i wonder if they did a set pertaining to this particular book um but i love this one here with the forest or with the green evergreen trees the cacti just everything. It's really pretty and then this cactus print ton of gold foiling love that and here's another one it says on the road again with the camper then another grid print it's a little bit different very subtle this one is absolutely beautiful you can make like a, a whole scene right here it's absolutely gorgeous i love it and then this like small dainty like cacti print We've got a little brown plaid thing going on. This one here with the wood print and it has like a little tint with a um, campfire and everything. This one here, so this one's great obviously for, for sure scrapbooking because you use the whole sheet and then you can add pictures however you want. Um, typically that's what I would use these big ones that are like this for. Um, and then we got journaling cards or like you could even use these in planners. Let's go places, I mean notes. You could use this as labels. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these. And you always get two of each sheet, which is great. Um, hit the gravel, pack up your bags. We're going on a road trip. Are we there yet? I love the teal and brown. Then we've got like a little compass kind of thing, which is cool. And then another one of these like little like scenic paintings with the road going into the mountains. And then this like brown grid print. Them. this one here with like the little suitcases and then another plaid just like a green and brown plaid but yeah that is um summer road trip next up is spellbound forest i'm actually just my tripod was just like not it didn't look right i need a what is this one of those like over the head um tripod things that you can like put on your desk i need to order one from like amazon because it just it didn't look right um, like it looked okay, but I'm just doing the handheld thing now. So hopefully it doesn't look weird. Um, but anyway, this one is called Spellbound Forest. And this is my favorite one that I have. 
when I get married, this is this is the vibe that I'm gonna go for. This is the vibe I'm going for. This color scheme, everything. It's oh my god, I love it. Okay, let me just open it. Shut up, Katrina. Let's open it. First. Oh yeah, you can see the details so much better. I'm just gonna do it handheld for now. Um look at the gold foiling with all of the like the flowers you see there's like little spiders and everything it's so pretty it's kind of like on this like blue like agate kind of thing going on it's kind of like victorian-esque gothic um spooky witchy love this with all the like the books like the vintage books this one here the mushrooms i mean everything the beetles like i know i'm like super into like kawaii things and like pastels and like cute things but i also love things like this i don't know why but i always love things like this so pretty um i love this this is kind of like um what is it called is it damask print let me know if i'm right or wrong in the comments um it's really pretty though and then we've got some like journaling cards keep your eyes to the moon life is magical your fate is in your hands love this little skull here i mean it's so beautiful book of spells and incantations oh my god i love the burgundies the burgundy merlot maroon colors with like that deep midnight blue oh it's just beautiful and then this one this like magical forest with like little sparkles and stars and it's like a spooky magical forest and this one here looks like there's like different like text and stuff we've got like different inscriptions it's so pretty and like very subtle too then we've got this beautiful picture of this moon with all these stars and the night sky i love it so much and then here's this one which kind of looks like a collage a little bit but can we just like oh my god yeah i'm obsessed i love this and then we got another one of these with like the night sky. This one here kind of looks like um like a book, sort of. Very vintagey. And then this one with all the moths and like butterflies, and there's like spiders and different like beetles and things, and I love the maroon background. And then we've got this one's kind of like the first page. Just like gray without the gold foiling. And then this one with all of the stars and sparkles. And this one has gold foiling, as you can see. Very pretty. And then again, another spooky magical forest. This one looks like there's like fog. I think the other one's my favorite though. This one's cool too. Now we've got this like maroon kind of like agate looking print. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love mushrooms. Like, not like just anything with a mushroom print. I don't know. I just think they're magical. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute okay and then some more journaling cards we got this like little butterfly one being wicked is more fun i need a whole stationary set with this scrapbook pad like uh, here's this one here oh my god i think i like the mirror better i need a whole set i need washi tape i need stickers we got skulls crows giving little edgar Allan poe vibes some paper strips look at those the moths and stuff mushrooms and flowers and it just oh my god like these i would cut separate beautiful then some more moths and butterflies and things and then this one here which has like flowers and it looks like it's on a table or something there's like mushrooms and that is that so yeah that is spellbound forest i am obsessed with this one Next up is Garden Charm. Now this one is obviously a ton of florals. There's a lot of bright blues, yellows, hot pinks, light pinks. It's very girly, very tea party. And so like I go from one vibe, which is like that creepy kind of like gothic, vintage, witchy vibe to like this and everything in between. I love it. Um, but anyway, so let's open this one up. So here's the first page. See all these like little like bouquet of flowers with a navy background. Just a little stripe number. I really like this one with the little bees and the green print. Oh my God, this one's really pretty. I imagine some of these as like wallpaper, like an accent wall, beautiful. Some journaling cards, bloom. This kind of looks like a little plate. And of course, the gold foiling. Then we have this like little blueprint here. These, I really like this one. I love this one. I love the yellow flowers. 
And this one here, look at the little plates, like a little tea party or a garden party. It kind of also reminds me sort of a little bit of Alice in Wonderland. We've got this bee print with the gold foil. Oh my God, I love this. And here's this one with the floral frame. And then this pink print. It reminds me of those like spiral things. I don't know what they're called. Um, if you know what I mean. They're like the little plastic things you put your pin in and you just kind of like swirl it. I forgot the name of it. But this one reminds me of. And we got these little butterflies. All different butterflies. This one says wild flower. <laughs> cute. Oh my god. Some of these quotes are so cheesy, but they're still cute. <laughs> we got these butterflies here. There's a lot of pinks and pink flowers. And then there's like the green stripes. And then this little blue butterfly print. Happiness blooms within with the little heart frame. This one's kind of like a sage color. Kind of looks gray on camera, but has polka dots. And then some paper strips, more flowers, just like all the different prints. Love little bees. And then this floral bouquet print. And this one with the butterflies, all the gold foiling. And then this one, which is a little bit more subtle. And some journaling cards, of course. Life in full bloom, hello gorgeous, charming, grow, soar. <laughs> These are really cute. And then this little butterfly print with the flowers. And... Oh, and then this one. Almost forgot. We got the little butterflies, the flowers, the little bee, and has pink. But yeah, that one is Garden Charm. So I guess if you're more into like bright, colorful um, things and you like flowers, this is one that you want to add to your list. All right, next up is Lunchbox Friends. This, I think, is my second favorite out of this batch. And it's very colorful, a lot of rainbow colors, and it's... Um, just like food themed, but they're all cute. They're all very kawaii. They all have faces. It's just, let's just look at it. <laughs> so here's the first one. I mean, ready off the bat, when I saw the broccoli forest, I knew I needed this in my collection. They're scared. They're like telling each other like horror stories. Look at this donut. She's so scared. But how cute. This one with the eggs and some of them have faces. By the way, this does have iridescent glitter. I don't know if you can really like see it. You can see it a little bit. The, this one does not have foiling. It has glitter. This one says weekend vibes. We've got the cute little bowl of cereal, the donut jumping in. I mean, so cute. And these are like little picture frames to put pictures in. This one's great if you have like a kid or something and they're going to school and you want a scrapbook about it. This would be a cute pad to have. Um, I just got it because it was cute. <laughs> Look at the little toast. Peanut butter together. And I love a good pun, so I can't... I like things on the sunny side. I love a little toast here. This one's an apple. It's an apple. <laughs> We've got this print, which at first when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's just little polka dots, but they're actually blueberries. Some of them have leaves. Like, look how cute. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> and this one is like a little notebook paper and we've got like three peas in a pot, a little strawberry, cute little toast. Just hanging out in the corner. This one's like a little like ramen themed sheet. And they're like just steaming in, in, the, in the broth. And this one I love. I think this one's like one of my favorite ones in this paper pad because it's like the milk cartons. I have a thing for like milk cartons. Like I love anything that says strawberry milk. I just think it's so cute, but like look at them. And they have like little blush cheeks and then Next up, we have like a row of lockers and we have the waffle, the apple, and the pineapple going to school. And by the way, I didn't notice this detail, but if you look at his hat, it's actually a pat of butter. How do you, how do people come up with these things? That's what I want to know. Like how? Then we got a little pizza thing and we've got our like our little pizza toppings as a border. This is another one of my favorites. It's toast. It's literally toast. <laughs> and here's this one with all of the friends hanging out, the little peas, the milk cartons, the apple. This one here, the mama strawberry jam and the little baby strawberry. Oh, so cute. And I love the little scalloped frame with a little bit of glitter in it. And we have this like little rainbow one, but each white stripe is glittery. 
and then some paper strips. I love a little sprinkle one. The blueberry one is so cute. This is another one from the sub. <laughs> I need a whole stationery set with this collection. And we have a little lunch box. It's a green one. And these little sprinkles, which look cute, right? Okay, but look up closely. Some of them have faces and hands. <laughs> From far away, you can't really tell, but when you get close, hello there, so cute. And um, we got our chocolate chip cookie dunking himself in milk. <laughs> and there's like little frames and some bananas. And I love how some of them are sliced and have faces. Cute. Then we have that little waffle guy with his little hat <laughs> and stripes and then some alpha ephemera pieces you can cut up. And then these are like little like lunch cards. So you can cut them out, write something, put them in your kid's lunchbox or whatever. Got a frown, turn it, turn up, turn it upside down. Have a great day. Laughs more. Come on now. And then this one has like different notebook papers, but they're a rainbow. And I think that's the last one. Yeah. And that is lunchbox friends. I am obsessed with this one so much. Okay, second to last one is called Sunset Fields. This one is very yellow <laughs> so if you don't like yellow you're not gonna like this one but there's browns there's creams some neutrals and a little bit of like burgundies in here as well um i love sunflowers and i just thought this was beautiful for like fall time so first one says thankful and grateful every day cute <laughs> you got sunflowers here's on the bottom a little bit of gold foiling with the frame this all over print is absolutely gorgeous and then we've got this polka dot one with the maroon background and some journaling cards home sweet home and some more sunflowers these are really pretty and this one here yeah I like that one and this one's like a, it kind of looks like fabric but it's like an orange rust color together is our happy plate cute <laughs> Uh, just like a neutral kind of like foliage print this like yellow gingham nothing too crazy and then this little paper strip one thankful grateful blessed it reminds me okay there's this tiktok that i always see and it's this lady that makes fun of like signs that you see at like hobby lobby and like marshall's and she like says it in like the ugliest voice and just makes fun of it and it's the funniest thing ever i'm like that's so true like <laughs> like the live love laugh signs like you know what i'm talking about it's ridiculous um <laughs> some more sunflowers of course this like little yellow print and this little wooden shiplap it's like not shiplap it's a wooden print <laughs> this one i love i would like to see this in like a dress so cute like a little sundress with the sunflowers and the brown gingham i love that color combo then we have this like yellow print and some journaling cards. Gather, gold foiling, loved. And then this brown gingham. And then this one here with all the beautiful sunflowers in the bottom. And I like the, um, the frame. And then this brown print. And then this one. And then this one with the, like the smaller. Mm, what? <laughs> this only has one. They cheated me. There's only one of these. Aw. Well, anyway, <sighs> this is Sunset Fields. All right, last but not least is Cozy Neutrals. I like this one because I liked a lot of the grays, the blacks and whites, and the creams. Exactly what it says, neutrals. Um, but there is a lot of prints in here and there's some florals and it's just really nice. Sometimes I like a little bit more subtle colors, nothing too crazy. So here's the first one. Love the white flowers with the olive green leaves and the little gold foiled polka dots. Then we have this like little wooden print here. There we go. I wasn't focusing. You are strong, kind, and brave. <laughs> Make life simple. I mean, you know, cute. 
little positive quotes not bad i like them and then i like this print here with the black and white stripes and scallop details and then we got this little floral thing Just neutral stripes nothing crazy that's really pretty we got this print and then some paper strips love the life we've built together another wood grain print some stripes and it also kind of looks like fabric a little bit and then this white floral print and then this one which is like a tan like a light tan and white and this black and white print I like this and then this one so as you can see like it's a lot of like um I don't know why it's getting out of focus, but very neutral. We got some of these journaling cards. I like the pop of the olive green. This like line work, it looks like line work. It's really pretty. And then this print. And this one here, you could put something right here, write something, glue something down, and you have a little floral print on the bottom. And then this black and white thing print this neutral one kind of looks like tile print a little bit and some stripes and i think that's it oh no here's this one this one's kind of like gray but yeah that is cozy neutrals so if you like things a little bit more subtle but you still like prints but you're you're not into colors this is a great one all right friends so that is this video um a lot of scrap of paper pads um but i'm excited to add these to my collection and finally start using them because i've had them for quite a while and they've been like hey i think it's time for this uh scrap of paper haul um but anyway let me know down below which uh pad was your favorite and uh, which ones you're going to be adding to your wish list um i will try to find them on the michael's website and link them down below so just check the description if it's not there means i could not find it on the website just go to your local Michaels and see if they have them. Um, and also, if you know if the hot buy thing is still a thing anymore, because I'm really hoping it is, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, please like the video if you did. It really helps on my channel. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and you just love stationery and all that fun stuff. And turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Um, so you're notified when I do upload. Um, my TikTok, my Instagram are in the description if you want to give, give me a follow. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay kawaii and I'll see you very soon next time.